pulling up with the slap. Waking up the block. Black. Speakers about to pop. Switch me sides. trying to do is make a mark so we know where the red insert goes. Go ahead and slide the box back and we should have ourselves a little marker hole. Anybody wondering what that was all about? We got a couple of fasteners that are going to come through the amp rack and bolt to this box to kind of hold it all together for right now. Definitely getting ready to put in some different stuff later, but we're going to run this 19 for now, and it's got to be sturdy and it's got to be strong. Can't be sliding around, and this is better than using some old sheetrock screws. So we'll just bolt it in place and call it done. Threaded inserts for the wind. Yeah. All right. The truck is pre-wired, the amp rack is pre-wired. Hook up positive and negative and a couple speakers. This is going to be good. So we'll send these right on over to that side. Send the blue ones over to this side. Clamp them on. Drag those underneath the box nice and tight. sure once they're pretty close but we'll come up here we can go right to the bottom
cover back on, we're good to go. Well, let's see if it works. Here we go. It's on. All right, we got all the wires hooked up there. Time to tap into the other pre-wired wires. But first, we got to pull those old amp rack out. Still super clean. How's it feel to pull all this stuff apart? Is this fun? No. No? Still looks good, man. Like the first day. Just gonna strip out all this stuff here. Pop the new wires in. And it's playing. All right, everything's wired up, everything's fired up. It's all ready to play. Now we actually work at our shop, so it's not all fun and games. He's got to get his packages out of here, so we can't finish today. But it is playing. All the EQs are flat, but all the crossovers are set. All the gains are set. He should be good enough to go. We'll tune it tomorrow. We'll zip tie the rest of the wires tomorrow, put the lid on it, and we should be good to go until, until we make more changes. As you can see, everything's flat on the 360. We'll do some tuning tomorrow, but go ahead. Let's work this song over. Let's play it. Let's hear what it sounds like. Things hitting pretty hard and it's still underpowered. Got about 2,500 watts on it right now, one of those 2,500 watt amps. The whole plan was put both those amps on 415s. This is just a test subject until we get to that point. Of course, this amp rack would not be the same if it didn't have LEDs in it. So last thing we're gonna do is run those. And as you can see, I got the track all ready to go. That was thought about in the very beginning. We'll run them all along the track. Be able to see them a little, but not too much.
We go drinking till the alcohol is gone. You know I don't really drink. Take a little shot. Shot in. That's a minute. Doubting how low this thing gets, look at this. Go ahead, turn it on, bud. Sun was popping open. Don't want to turn that on in the rain. <laughs> I'm steady. Sauce, no spaghetti. Yeah, you stab red, but it's lost like a Yeti. She see that light skin, she think I'm shallow. Levy, see your heart, but in this dark, she let me. <laughs> see, I'm hot, so right there, I got the upper hand. They're making up a Morrison on time, like some supper plans. We both are married, but I know.